Good morning. We're in the Maroon Lands of Suriname. Uh, yeah. And we're about to uh, we're about to take a trip down the river. All right, so this uh, this is the boat. Yeah. Okay. Kind of looking like it's about to rain. Let's go buy an umbrella real quick. Oh, it's a big deal. It's time to get pretty active here. <laughs> so you got people going in two different directions. You got people getting ready to take boats to go further down the river. And then you got people from the villages living down the river come arriving here right now. You got people going to work. <laughs> You got kids that go to the local high school here or the elementary school. These are the boats that everyone takes. They seat about eight people. It's okay, yeah. Making a video of the, the river. Yeah. I'm not Dutch. Okay. Yeah. Englishman, yeah. American man. That's American. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Alright, we gotta get on the boat.
can't imagine doing that every single day. That's crazy. This is crazy beautiful right here, but I think this is the river equivalent of driving into an asteroid field or something. A lot of rocks. Good drive. Toilet break. Not for long. Yeah. How did they get there? They swam there? No, they, they washed clothes, they washed dishes. I don't know if you can see them out there, but there's these kids just hanging out on a rock over there. Apparently they went over there to like wash clothes and stuff. Okay. Excuse me for a second. Okay, bye bye. Just arrived at the biggest village in the region. What's interesting is the Surinamese government has built these stairs and kind of like these loading ramps, I guess, to make it a little bit easier for everybody to get on boats. Interestingly, you even have an ATM here. Let me see if I can take out money with my foreign card. ATM is just covered in insects. Didn't work, unfortunately. The village power source. The village gets electricity from about 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Then it goes into darkness. Over now. Yeah. Okay. Seems uh, very quiet here. And the people go to the plantation today. Today is Saturday. What do they grow on the plantation? Oh, uh, uh, food for eat. Okay. Rice, banana. Like all the food they need in the village? Yeah, potatoes. Okay. Potatoes, sweet potatoes. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah. 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 Bakara, that's the word. Okay. Here, I'm no longer an Mzungo or no Yimbo. I'm a Bakara. No understand. Boy, they for stand. Yeah. Okay. Go a little more. Oh, I'm so that's the 7-Eleven? Yeah. Like convenience store? Yeah. Okay. So we have to talk to, to, talk to the chief. Okay. okay. Current problem is we need to find the chief of the village in order to feel comfortable walking around. Just like in Africa, if you do not find the chief of the village, you will have problems. Oh, okay. Oh, the walk alone to Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. No ducky. Okay, no ducky. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And Tanya Chief. I say the Atali is the only one of the chiefs of the village. He's one of them. He has seven chiefs. It's a big village. Oh, seven chiefs. Yes. Wow. 
It's like a council of the elders. Okay. Most of the people in the world are on the, on the France side. So you think you are a French, man? I think I'm French. <laughs> 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 what is it? Oh, good morning. Oh, good morning. Wiki. This is like the gathering point of the village. Not with the government, only for the Just for the people. This is where you have like the uh, village parties, village meetings, town halls, maybe a wedding or two. So this is, this right here is not a house, this is a shrine, yeah, it's a shrine. to the ancestors of the village. I see. You. <laughs> the shrine, is that for like a local religion? Hmm? What is the shrine for? It's for local religion. Local religion. Yes. Are the people here, are they Christian or do they still follow? No, it's not Christian. It's not a Christian village. So they follow the religions from Africa? Yeah. Like West Africa? Yeah. Oh. Dean is not a Christian city. Okay. This city is not a Christian city. Wow. You have some famous Christian. When we we going back, we go to a Christian village. Okay. Then we're going to see, see the difference. This is a village that for the past 300, 400 years has barely interacted with the rest of the country. Thank you. Thank you. What's that? Fish. Oh, fish. Big fish. Big fish. You can tell me not to come in. Hi. And there. You are. You eat today? They sell it. Oh, they sell it. You want to buy it? Uh, I have nowhere to put it though. The, the phone number from, from young, young Star Gasco. It's, a, it's the phone number. Is this the phone number of the people that live here? Yeah, I think so, maybe. <laughs> yeah. So, like, if you need to call them, yeah. they just leave their numbers on the wall right here? Okay. If you want to say hi to Young Star Gasco, that's his number right there. Don't forget the Suriname area code. Oh, yeah, drink water for the people. This is gonna be a, a water tank. Yeah, water tank, but it didn't work. So it's just not doing anything now. No. Why couldn't they get it to work? I think they didn't finish, uh, the, the, they didn't finish the job. So did they run out of money? Maybe. <laughs> so where do the villagers get their water from? From the river. The river? Yeah. Do they and boil when, it? When, and when it rains. Do they boil it? Yeah. Oh, okay. You see, every, every, everybody has some uh, uh, tank on, 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 on side their, their house. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the tanks are to catch the rainwater. Yeah. Fawaka. Hi. Hi. So with no actual plumbing system in the village, this is how you get water. Rain will fall down into that. And we basically have a nice little water supply. Use that for cooking. Baraka. Aye. Yeah, Baraka is here. Anachi. Anachi I knew that word would be helpful. <laughs> baraka, Baraka. Let me get a view of the uh, half naked children. Uh, so basically, the way that uh, most of the village lives 
they have a kind of, as he calls it, plantation that you got to walk a long time to get to. Like two hours, he said, as much as like six hours. And they're basically growing food and crops out there in the jungle. It's wild. Please don't let there be any crazy animals here. Or spiders. You've got like spiders and other kind of animals that are the stuff of nightmares living out here. Oh, that's a big tree. Here we have a Kantan tree. They're only in the Guyanas. Okay. Kantan tree. The biggest kind of tree you can find here in the Guyanas. Awake you. 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 Awake I have absolutely no idea what anyone here is saying, but I'm going to leave these conversations in just in case there's somebody watching from Ghana or somewhere in West Africa that by chance can understand this. Are you from here or you just came here to work? Yeah, I came here to visit some friends. Okay, but you stayed here for two years? No, not, not, not continue two years. I come and go, come and go. Come oh, and you're go. coming and going, okay. Yeah. This is all pretty wild, isn't that? Just how African this place is. They're not even Christian. They've maintained a kind of animist religion from West Africa. But then again, I guess it's no stranger than uh, the Amish, the United States, living like it's still the 1600s. Okay, for some reason we're not using the stairs to get back down. Oh. Get back onto the boat the old fashioned way. Back on the road. So, New Aurora is a Christian village. A little bit different from the last one. In this village, they have a foosball table. Yeah. I like it better already. Oh, okay. Yeah. You have water? Huh? Water? Yes, water. Okay. I'll take one. What? Yeah. You want water? No? Okay. Movie theater? Cinema? Okay. Pretty sure my hair looks ridiculous right now. You're just gonna have to deal with it. I don't have this. You don't have this. Uh, this I, I try to make 
once for myself before I'm trying to make sales the uh, other people. Oh, okay. Yes. Nice. This is the first one for for me for this model. It's for protection. Yes. You have the, the evil eye. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So no more. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, he have he have more. I may have. I have. Yeah, I, I, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can buy one. Yeah. This is bracelet. Oh, nice. I have this for hand and for your foot. Oh, for the hand and the foot. Yes. yes. Okay. <coughs> I like it. This oh, is okay. bracelet. I'm, I'm selling this bracelet uh, 150. 150. Uh -huh. Maybe I'll buy a bracelet as like a gift. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah. This is very cool. What is what protection do I get wearing this? This? Yeah. My the the, the uh, for the ABC. The ABC. Right, yeah, ABC right there. Me begin, begin to name name begin to A. Uh, the the Papa Money. Yeah. This is the scallop for Papa Money. Papa Money. Yeah, Papa Money. So I get a lot of money if I'm wearing this. Yes. When you go to Africa, you look for for Africa the 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 dress. The Papa Money necklace. Oh, oh, they have this in Africa, too. So. Yeah. Yeah, it looks familiar. Okay, I'll give this back to you. Yeah, I like it. I like it. this, this. The, yeah. The, the, the big person for me. Yeah. Call this Alomboto. Alomboto. Yes. Okay. Do the girls... This is for men. Oh, this is for men. Yes, okay. For do men. the girls wear stuff like that on their bellies? Here? Yes, the woman. Oh, yeah. They yeah. do that in Africa. Yeah, yeah. They do it in Africa, yeah. too. I, I make this for women, too. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. I'll give this back to you. Okay. You are more lucky with money than me. Okay, right. okay, okay. You ever go swimming here? Yes, you can swim. No piranhas? No. Oh, nice. Now it's deep. Yeah. Very nice. Wow. Right, wait. Then you walk in the stone with the shoes. Yeah. Walk in the shoes. You, yeah. you, you can you, 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 you can fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, walk. Okay, <laughs> maybe I'll take off my shoes. Try to swim. It's good. It's good? It's good. <laughs> okay. I take the camera. Okay. I'm exciting the ladies too much. Oh okay. god. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so similar to Yoruba. Sounds like a Nigerian language. Yes. <laughs> like Yoruba. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we speak Yoruba in a business language. Most of the people come from Yoruba. From the Yoruba clan. Nigeria. Wow, okay. Yeah. Nigeria, Ghana. Yeah. If I if I say if, if I say Bawoni, do you understand that? No. No? Uh, okay. That means like how are you? What's up? That's Yoruba. You say that you go to Nigeria, Nigeri. Yeah, Nigeri. You are going to Nigeria? Uh yeah, I lived in Nigeria. Yeah, before. Now here. And uh uh Nigeria. Also like this. Yeah, yeah, very like similar. <laughs> very si whoa. No rivers like this. Oh. Yeah, but uh, people are similar. Okay. 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 That's goodbye in Yorba. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, many of the sounds in your language, they're just like Yorba, yeah. like song. <laughs> That kind of stuff. The yeah, you have your urban people in, in the village in Suriname, the Saramakan people. Yeah. Daumi. Daumi. Yeah, you have a village here called, called Daumi. Oh, Daumi. Yeah. Oh, yeah, just like in uh, Togo or Benin. Benin. I forget which one, but. but this, the, the people are, they, they mix, they mix, the people are mixed people together. Yeah. Benin, Togo, Ghana, Nigeria. I heard when they escaped, mm -hmm. they ended up 
living in the jungle and then forming new tribes. Yeah. Like the which became like what the Saramaka, yeah, Nanjuka, yeah, the Matawai. Yeah. yeah. So there's six different yeah. clans or tribes yeah. of Maroons. Yeah, six tribes. And they each speak a different language, although yeah. they're all very yeah. similar. Yeah. They all speak different. Yeah. They all speak different. The crazy thing is that these tribes didn't form in Africa. They formed here yeah, in Suriname. Yeah, in the jungle. I don't know of anything else like this in the world, <laughs> as far as I know. Not sure uh, why these windows are broken. Now that er in 1762, Fred met the. Tell me if my Dutch is correct. So this guy was born in 1762. No. No. They signed a treaty in 1762 with the Saramacan people. Oh. The government. Oh, okay. Yeah. But the first man who, who became baptism. He became baptism in 1771. His name is uh, Arabi. Johannes Arabi. Yeah. Same. Very interesting name. Yeah. Arabi means Arabic. Why did this village become Christian, but the other one stayed non-Christian? No, it's, 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 the, it's the, the people who came after uh, Johannes Arabi. Yeah. They, they, they left right, uh, far, farther up, up the river. Oh. So you're going straight to Achani. Okay. You good? You said Aki? <laughs> That's how you say here? That's so interesting. That's Portuguese. That's yeah, that's one of the Portuguese words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now back to the base. Wow. It's so blazingly hot out here that I'm already dry from that swim I took. back into Achoni, the central hub of the region. I like this boat right here. Empty bottle of rum, a refrigerator, and a watermelon. Huh? It's nice, it's moist. You like it? Yeah. So it's now about 2 p.m. And we're at the end of like the busiest times of the day for this port. Everybody has come in, get all the stuff, loading it onto the boats, heading back to their villages. Uh, Bami. Yeah. Bami is noodles. Bami. Yeah. One? Okay. Yeah, one. So as I sit here waiting for my food, there's people behind me loading up their boats. Here's the kind of meal you get out of here in the Maroon Lands. Uh, 
It's like if you took Africa and Indonesia and just mashed them together into like one meal. I can't understand the people here. Oh no, so yeah. yeah, yes, I live in my, uh, my, my, my wife, yeah, living here, yeah, mine living to Kaya party. Oh, okay. When we we'll come to my we'll call my wife, yeah, I'm coming to Pokemon. Okay, yeah, I sleep here maybe two, five days and go back. Okay, yes. why don't you have one house? Yeah. This I have my my house is fire party. Is that normal? So if somebody from one village marries another yeah, person yes, from yes, another village, yes. they have different houses? Yes. Cheers to you guys. And only like 30, 40 minutes later, now there's nobody here. The rain has stopped. No, no, no. Completely calm. Completely different atmosphere. You, you want to give me? No, I mean, you, give, you give me a beer? No, you give me. Why I give you? Back home. It's like a refrigerator graveyard over here. Behold, the Amazon rainforest. This has really been my first time seeing it. It's been interesting. Here in Suriname, the Maroon villages are actually what I expected to find in Jamaica. Here, they've maintained their languages, their customs, even the day-to-day -day life. They've even maintained religions that existed in West Africa before the arrival of Christianity. I think you could say that that village we went to back there is actually more African than many places back in Africa. Hi. I think those were the neighbors from my building. My only neighbors. Man, it just gets so quiet around here. And now it's starting to rain again. Yet again. And for that reason, amongst a few others, being that there's literally nothing to do here and the Wi-Fi is not very good, I'm about to head back. Parbo. Gotta head back to the big city. Although I've enjoyed my time out here. Time to go. Gotta go drop my key off with Mr. Mai, who is also my landlord. Okay. Right, thanks a lot for the help. Okay. Good night. And good luck with the village. That was Mr. Mai. Kind of a serious guy. But I guess you need to be. To be like the, uh, the local office chief around here. And now, here's my taxi. Ready? Yeah, ready to go. I'll film your uh, guy in his flight for a second. No problem. <laughs> Warm day. He's, uh... He's Surinamese, but he's Guyanese at the same time. Multicultural. Multicultural. He's got like a Dutch accent. <laughs> okay, back to Paramaribo.